Welcome back. So now you know how to make the controllers, but what about inside the controllers? What about the methods? We also need to learn that. So here's another example again. It's under, we are under action methods on tutorials teacher. An example of the controller and here is one of the methods. And that's important to understand that we have the controller and that has a list of methods inside it. And that's pretty much just saying that when we have a controller then we can do a slash a lot of times. Let me just find an example here. Localhost. So here, and it will fail right now, but here we have a controller that has a slash person, meaning that we want to hit the person controller, that will have an action of ID. And that's what we're going to build now. And then we send in some kind of ID to that action. But that's what you have to understand. A controller has a list of action methods. So let's look at some action methods here. First of all, an action method normally returns some kind of action result. Right now we just return a string and we'll do it again in a second. But you can return other types of results. Let's try the content results this time just to show you, um, but you can return other things. You could return a view result, that's probably the one we'll use the most. So we return an HTML page back to the user. We could also redirect to another result. That's another possibility. So we send you to another page. Partial view is only a part of the entire web page will return. That would stop making single page applications. And um, those are just some of them. And here's how you can use them to actually get some information back. Let's do it instead. Let's have a look at making our own uh, new action here. So I'm going into the code and I'm going to just make inside the person controller, I'm going to make a new public uh, method here and I'll just return a string again like we did before and I'll call it ID because that's what we wanted you to be able to write person slash ID. We'll send an ID from the outside and we'll just return a string. Return. And now, right now, since we don't have a person actually available, what we'll do is we'll just put in some text. ID, oh, let's use let's use the call signature here where we put in a dollar sign. ID is ID. And then we could, if we want to later have a name, let's just add something fake here right now. Uh, Gwoli, like this, Gwoli. So we'll save this for now and that was what we should return. So now we made your, you made your first action. Let's try and run this again. It'll take a bit of time to start, so I'll just pause the video. So we're back, the application is started and now we should be able to write slash person slash id slash and then just some kind of number id slash 100 and that's fine i'll do enter and now i'll hopefully hit that route and it returns id 100 name guoli right so i hit this route let me just prove it to you once more that i actually hit the route like this this is a very basic use of the parameter list we'll make some more complex ones later but this is just to show you a very basic way of how we hit this id actually so i refresh the page and hopefully i get in here again so I get in here and again, the ID is here. I'll do continue and um, that was basic routing. So now you know how to make your own action method here. Uh, very, very simply. The reason I get in here twice was because I kind of spammed the button. But now you know how to use the routing, how to make an action and how to use the controller. So next we'll dig into some more controller action stuff. See you in the next lessons.